Hey guys, this is Akhilesh from DataSense. Today we are going to learn about if function. Okay. One of the viewer on TikTok asked me that he worked for a delivery company and they have this commission structure. So if the person has made up to 30 deliveries, he will not get any commission. If he makes up to 33, he gets two dirham for each additional delivery. And if it is making more than 34, then he gets 3 dirham for, for each additional delivery. So how to create a formula so that we can get the commission value for any number of deliveries. Okay. Now let us start with if function. So what is if function? If function requires a logical test first and based on the result, if that result is true, it gives this result. If that result is false, it will give the third one. Okay. So logical test is if my number of deliveries are less than or equal to 30 then I should get zero commission if that is not the case I will again start with if if my number of deliveries are less than or equal to 33 then 2 dirham for each additional delivery so to get the additional number of deliveries it is simple this value minus 30 so that will give us the additional deliveries and multiply it with 2 dirham if that is also not the case, then it must be falling into this category. So for that, we need to calculate. So first, there is a component of 33 minus 30 multiplied by 2 because we need to pay him. We need to pay him 2 dirham for this slab. Then take the number of actual number of deliveries minus 33 and close the bracket and multiply it with 3 dirham close the bracket for each if so this is red bracket so one more we need and press enter and you will see up to 25 0 up to 30 0 as soon as it increases more than 30 so 3 extra 6 dirham here 6 extra so for 3 extra 6 dirham for additional 3 it is 9 dirham so 9 plus 6 15 okay here again for 3 deliveries it is 6 dirham and then 5 more deliveries so 15 plus 6 is 21 and that way you can calculate it any number of deliveries now to make it more dynamic because these values may change at any point of time so what rather than using these hard coded values so this 30 you should select this cell for this 33 you should select this cell and i am using dollars so that whenever my formula moves these cells should not move in place of 30 i can take this cell then 33 is this cell 30 is this cell 33 is again this cell and 3 and 2 so for this two we will use this cell for this two we will again use this cell and for this three we will use this cell and I have kept dollars if I am using the values from this structure and when I press enter my result doesn't change but now I have the flexibility to modify my logic let's say tomorrow I say that up to 28 there should be no and after that up to 33 it should be 2 so now accordingly my commission structure changes so this is more beneficial but to start with you can write the formula with the hard coded values and later on you can switch okay i could have written the formula directly from these cells but then i thought it, to make it easy to understand i should use the numbers itself hope you found it useful if you liked the video please share it with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to share the feedback in the comment section if you are new to the channel please hit subscribe button and click on the bell icon thanks for watching see you in the next video